almost stolen by Felder. Another steal. This time it's Benigni who knocked it loose and he'll score. It's okay. Now driving as Felder drops it inside for Pavlidis on the cut. The reverse is thrown up and good. Zagorowski outside Stinson three ball. And now Simona. Max left open. Got that one. Yeah, he knows the return. Second half, and it's Pavlidis on the block right down inside. And Luis Simona. Fox. Inside out, three ball wide open. Right to the bottom for Tony Felder. Is now 13. Three ball on the way. Score that for Jackson Benigni. Someone's got a tough hill to climb. Down 13. Make that down 10. Now Felder. Try to match it, and does. And user for Jackson Benigni drives in, score the basket and the foul. And Elder. Long three ball, got it. And that just about puts the lights out. Although right back the other way comes Max Zagorowski as Binghamton comes to the home of the Skyhawks. And we'll head home with a 79-64 win. Chris Krause is the head coach of the Stonehill men's basketball team. Kind enough to join us at the conclusion of this one. Every time I look down to where you are, I thought you were conducting an orchestra. You were just constantly waving your arms and trying to direct people from point A to point B. Yeah, we were trying. And even especially defensively, we were trying to, I was trying to get our guys to put our hands, like, have some activity you know where we didn't we that's why it looked it was us it was me it wasn't fully fully the group on the floor um yeah we just didn't we didn't play with enough competitive edge enough competitive toughness to us tonight and you know they a credit to binghamton and um they beat us and we just you know we I thought at half, we said to our guys at halftime, hey, this is only a six point game. And right. we didn't, I didn't think we played very well, but we're still learning. We are still trying to figure it out. And um, we just, you know, we didn't have that toughness, that mental toughness, that compete. And the compete we had the other day against UMass Lowell, we, it wasn't here today. And so we said at halftime, like, it's only a six point game. Find it, figure it out. And then, you know, a couple offensive rebounds to start the second. We, it just wasn't there. Yeah. And even, you know, we cut it to, I think, nine late, and the next thing you know, there's an offensive rebound, 50-50 ball, and they got every one of them tonight. So we, it just it wasn't there from our group, um, which is frustrating, but I think it's still a, it's a learning process for our guys. It's a learning, you know, opportunity. Um, we've got to learn from it. You know, I thought we, we played great the other day, and yeah, obviously did. unfortunate we didn't win against UMass Lowell, but you and I talked before the game, the consistency, yep. you know, and that's literally what we were talking about, and we didn't have consistency from the other day to today, and that I think, you know, that's part of, uh, you know, a younger group and group that's got to learn on the fly, but that's what it takes to win night in and night out. I thought they came out with an edge. Binghamton? Yes. Yeah, they did. And yeah. they had, a, I mean, they were. And it wasn't matched. No, it wasn't. And they were at Colgate the other day, and Colgate got them pretty good, yeah, beat them pretty did. good. And they, they came out with, you know, there's a lot more experience on that team. And they showed, you know, kind of what it takes. And we just, we didn't ha we didn't match it. We weren't able to, you know, uh, to do it consistently for 40 tonight. It's disappointing, but it's part of our growth process, part of our groups, you know. <laughs> they have to learn. When you talked about the defensive effort and you talked about being more active, I guess, again, as the layman, if you're playing a straight man, you got to be active. You better follow your guy around. But when you're playing a zone defense, it looked like they were trying to pick it apart inside and they were able to use the baseline very effectively as yeah, well. Yeah, they did. But I thought, you know, with, with our rotations and with our schemes within it, there's a way to stop it. You're yep, not going to sure. stop it 100%. You're not going to hold anyone to no points. And people are going to score. But I think, you know, you look at the box where they were 6 of 16 from 3. Yep. And we took away the three. We didn't allow threes. And everything was interior, whether it was cutters, baseline drive, or offensive glass. You know, we just, uh, we didn't, uh, it just wasn't, you know, the full, they had 21 second chance points. There you go. We, yep. you know, what do we lose by? We lose by 15. They have 21 points off the glass right, right there. And that's right. just like, even the right at the end, the very last possession, you know, we, 
you can give it up. But no, they just nudged you know one of our guys out of the way. We just didn't have that you know that fight that that edge that we needed. And you know uh, we've seen this this defense work. We've seen you know when the guys play it like a zone and they stand around and don't do too much movement. And they're we or I am more active or our coaching staff is more active than the guys before. That's not sure. good. No. So. You know, we'll, we'll, we'll learn and we'll grow. We'll show it to them. We'll teach them and we'll try to get better. Out rebounded by 14. Yeah. And I, well, I think, you know, rebounding numbers sometimes are misleading when you don't shoot the ball well. There's a lot of missed opportunities. Right. You know, so they shot 46% from the floor. Um, we shoot 37, so we missed more than they did. And so there's more rebounds out there. But offensively, you know, they got 11 offensive boards. So that that's a part of it. And, um, you know, it's rebounding has been an issue for us. It's a, it's a thing. It's something that we have to deal with and have to learn. But we got, you, don't, you can't rebound if you don't compete on the glass. If you don't hit, you don't bang. And, we, you know, we got we to gotta do it night in and night out for as close to 40 minutes right now and then building to a complete 40-minute game. Uh, let me leave with a lot of positive. The turnover, you took good care of the ball. There's just seven turnovers. Yeah, we, yeah. You know, I love the positivity and growth mindset right there from you. And, no, we, <laughs> you know, yeah, we seven turnovers. And, you know, against, they were, I thought Binghamton did a great job defensively. They were just tough. They guarded. They switched when they should. They jumped cutters, jumped screens, and stayed tight with Max. And, you know, it's, they, there's a lot of athleticism and length sure and was. talent on that yeah. team. And they're really good. They're going to be great in the American East. You know, but I, for us, we gotta we gotta do what we need to do night in night out, possession to possession, to give ourselves a chance. So your next practice will be an emphasis on what? Name it right now. We're I mean honestly, like that's kind of we've got so much to learn with this group. Um, is it rotations? Is it rebounding? Is it, I, I thought even like offensively, we are still like ball is getting stuck. The ball sticks too much, and you know you've yeah. watched us forever. Sure. And, the ball's moving, screen, curls, flares, and it's not a catch, I'm a hold, I'm a look, I'm a jab, I'm a think, I'm going to do it. And then it's like, okay, well, the defense resets. So we gotta, like, we're trying to get that. The ball's got to swing. The ball's got to move. Penetrate, kick. And then you get them in rotation, don't let them recover with quick ball. So it's that. It's everything. It's, we're, we're learning. There's just, you know, it, you, we got to get better in every facet. And um, even just mentally, just the ability to sustain things. So and then all you get, all you got now is five out of the next six on the road. <laughs> That's yeah. We're <laughs> back and schedule? we'll see you. I don't know. I'm not going to say the guy <laughs> that you're sitting next to. Um, yeah, it was. It, it's it's life in this in this league. It's life right now. It's transitioning elements. It's you know it's it's what we're enduring. So we'll we'll be gone for a few weeks. We'll see you next year maybe. No, <laughs> no, we'll see you on we'll, the 17th. Just before that. So all right, Chris. I always appreciate you coming over. Thanks, Chris.